So here's a situation where I've got my camera right here and I just want to put my solar panel right next to it. Plug it in and you've got your nice uh, bracket here that screws into the tree. You can adjust it to the sun. Plug your cord in and you're ready to go. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Well guys, I had a subscriber leave me a comment today and he said, hey, have you ever done a video on the solar panel brackets that you build for mounting solar panels and battery boxes? that screw into trees and I was like, you know what? I've never done a video on it. It's just a real simple, quick build. Um, but I said, you caught me at a good time because I'm actually building some of these today. And I'll just try to put together a quick video on, on how I build these. Um, so this is real simple. Um, you're just gonna need some basic tools. You're gonna need a welder, uh, the simplest welder you can get. If you don't have a welder, you don't need anything expensive. This is mild steel. You don't need a lot of heat. Uh, $125 welder from, from um, Harbor Freight would do just fine if you're looking to get into welders. I'm going to be TIG welding it with my brand new uh, Prime Weld 225 TIG welder. I absolutely love it. I just TIG everything I can find now because it's just so much fun uh, using that machine. And uh, so anyway, we're going to walk you through this. Um, what I'm doing now with these setups um, as I made a couple of upgrades, one is I put a handle on them now because it gives you something to, to hold on to when you go to screw it into the tree, just makes it nice and easy. Um, I also switched to the square bar, half inch square bar. Big benefits of square bar is you're gonna see that everything, you know, the bar is flat, right? So your solar panel uh, rides right on top of the flat surface and also your battery box mounts to the flat surface and so when everything is sandwiched it just is a nice tight sturdy fit um, when you've got the round bar plus all your welds are just straight flush cut welds um, no radiuses and all that kind of stuff just the way to go now the downside to the square bar half inch square bar is this four foot stick that i bought yesterday at lowe's was 17 dollars a 10 foot stick of half inch EMT will cost you maybe like 550 now at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, but I will still pay more for the square bar and do it with this versus the round pipe just because it's the better way to go. The other thing you're gonna need is a two inch lag bolt. Um, that's a three eighths. So this is a three eighths, two inch lag bolt. Um, seems to be the best one. That's what I like to use. Uh, and um, that's pretty much it. Let me share with you the the sizes of the cuts, uh, basically three simple cuts. Um, you've got a handle that's five and a half. And then you've got the solar bar, which is 14 and a quarter. And then you've got the center bar, which is 10 and a half. So uh, three simple cuts. And now what I use to cut um, is I can use this It's simple cut. So it doesn't take much to cut it with this high speed cutter. I also have um, a chop saw over there um, that will cut right through it like butter as well. So that's it. Let's get busy. We're going to go cut it and then we're going to get back here and weld it. All right, so after you make your cuts, you're going to get these real sharp razor blade uh, edges on there. Very dangerous. These are like 10 times sharper than a razor blade. Uh, I always like to clean everything up, make it safe to work with and um, then we'll get to welding. There we go. So now it's nice and safe to deal with and uh, do that to all three pieces and we'll be ready to weld. All right, so we're gonna get started. This is my prime weld uh, TIG welder. Uh, I think 70 amps is about what I typically do this on. We'll see, I may have to adjust it um, the other nice thing to have is if you don't have any is uh, some welding table magnets that will hold your uh, T-bar at a perfect square and it's just nice to have it to hold on your on your table while you while you tack it up. Well guys my apologies when I came around to turn the video off I realized that it uh, was not ever recording while I was welding the lag bolt on there so I apologize for that uh, a little tip I was sharing with you is that when you go to weld the, the lag bolt you lay it on your table and you put a couple of these little shims 
put a couple of these little shims underneath it to hold the end of the bolt up um, and that'll help make your bolt weld level uh, to get it started so that's the biggest tip I can give you all right so I got it all squared up real good using the magnet um, got the center in the middle of that measured three and three quarters inches this bar is three and three quarter inches from this weld so that's where I like my solar panel to sit uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to mount our mark our holes for our solar panel and our battery box and then we're going to drill them real quick and then we're going to be just about done all right so i'm going to mount the holes um, on this bar but it's kind of difficult because if i lay this up on here um, my pin won't go down through this hole to hit the bar um, so i'm just i'm going to measure this out between the holes and just mark it on the thing i'm pretty sure it is 13 and a quarter from center of hole to center of hole so i'm just going to mark it this way now this one I can do with a pin so okay perfect I got my four holes marked and now we're gonna be ready to rock and roll alrighty let's get these holes drilled Go hit these with the brush just to clean these up a little bit all right so a little tip on the hardware um, I use quarter inch bolts for everything these are an inch and a half long for the solar panel and these are an inch long for the battery box now the key to this is you want to put your battery box bolts through first and then um, because now you're going to set your solar panel on top of those bolts so they won't fall out. I like the cord coming out on the end where the battery box is. There we go. So now it's all together and I'm going to flip it over. And then put these wing nuts with the washers built onto them. And then your battery box just going to go right on top of your um, bolts there. Perfect fit. Just put your nuts on there. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, other than just tightening up the, the nuts and everything. But you're going to want to paint this and make it look good and all of that. So, all right, guys, we're all done. Just a nice, simple bracket. Pretty easy to build. If you've got a couple tools, especially a welder, you're good to go. Um, not too expensive either so I just got all this tacked on here what I'll do now is take all of it off and I'll give it a real good paint job um, make it look like this and um, you can do any kind of camo stuff on it that's what I'll end up doing on this um, but I'm not ready yet but so on this guys the next video or two I'll, I'll be talking about rigging these battery boxes with lithium or lithium iron phosphate uh, backup batteries I'll show you how to make them waterproof um, and it'll keep the ants out of them and all that kind of stuff and they should last probably about five years so um, anyway we'll talk about that in the next video thank you to my subscriber who suggested um, for me to run through and show you how i build these brackets anything related in the video that i shared i'll think th back through it and I'll, I'll list it uh the links to it in the description of the video uh to our amazon store in case there's something that you guys um, want to find it just makes it easier to find and appreciate you supporting our store so any questions comments please leave them down below uh, love to chat with you and engage about all this cool stuff so anyway guys take care thank you for watching we'll see you next time god bless